Welcome back to Diddy Cone Racing, everybody! So we've shown off most of the characters in the game. There's still three more we have to be, since we're not going to be GG, sorry. Uh, let's try Timber. Timber's very good. And yeah, as you can see, the, uh, part of that whiz pig rock is now, like, actually a pig, because we got a piece of the amulet. I don't really know how that works, but, eh, whatever. And I also realized we haven't really explored the island all that much. For example, you can go through the log out here. I really like Timber. He's kind of like the all-around. He's a little faster than average, though, which is nice. Okay, and I have to see. Is it possible to unlock Drumstick yet? Maybe not. Maybe we have to get more stuff. Hey, Taj. Hello, friend. Uh, I want to change my vehicle. Give me a plane. We're going to Snowflake Mountain, everybody. Welcome to Snowflake Mountain. This place is beautiful. I love this gentle snowfall, the dark sky. We've got the locked door as usual. We've got four new levels to attempt. There's the boss inside the igloo, and then the trophy is down in this room. Alright. Let's start with Everfrost Peak. Everfrost Peak. It's a plane race! Oh, I love this snow world. They did a really good job with it. And by the way, this is Timber's Island. Like, according to the lore of the game, this is Timber's Island. They explain it better in the DS Remake. DS Remake made a lot of changes I did not like, but it's still fairly good. Diddy Kong Racing just has awesome music. Look at that, this lead I have, it's amazing. Also, if you're good, you can hit the zippers on the floor in a plane. Also, if you hit the side of the aerial zippers, you'll stop for a little bit before getting the boost. The Snow World especially has awesome music. Oh boy. Timber is good. I love the sky in this Snow World though. And for some reason, every time Taj comes on stage, everything turns pink. Still don't really understand why. Ooh, now that we have 15 balloons, I bet we could do the plane race against Taj. Alright, let's see, which course shall we do next? How about Walrus Cove, yes. This is easily one of my favorite levels in the game. Loop to loop. And of course, amazing music, so that helps. I 
also a lot of great banana locations. Planting on the ice up here will make you bounce around for a bit. And there's a special little secret alcove this way. Yeah, you'll notice the magnet did nothing when I was in first. Timber's turning's a little bad if you don't do the RB trick, but he's nice and fast. And he's got a green car, which is my favorite color, so it's pretty cool. Boopty loops always make things better. At least in my experience. <laughs> like the Nintendo logo on the wall, and the Rareware logo carved in the ice. And that's Walrus Cove! Seriously, this world is so beautiful. All the different shades of blue and white, the Christmas trees, the icicles, it's just beautiful. Alright, we're gonna let Timber go do the race against Taj, I believe. Since he's fairly skilled at an airplane. At least I think we can do the airplane race. Maybe not. Alright, well, we can change our character then. Ah, uh, let's be tipped up. Tip-Top's very similar to Pipsy. He's not as good, though. Hello, that took forever. Alright, let's do Snowball Valley. This is another route. Actually, pretty much all of the levels in the winter area are very fun. Snowball. This has a lot of alternate paths as well. <laughs> also, there's Pipsy and uh, Banjo carved in the ice back there, which is pretty cool. Or there's snow sculptures, I guess. You've got to love this a great tourney on tip top, but Pipsy's tourney is far superior. <laughs> Physics on that were weird, but alright. And Crunch. <laughs> if you use the shield, you will not get crushed by those snowballs. I like how you can see the upper path from the lower one. It's a very nice touch. And it's amazing what a lot of bananas do to your speed. It they really make you faster. Which is why I'm so far in first. And Tip Top is not a fast character. He's slow. Hello. 
Oh dear. This is for you. Alright, it's time for the last level of Snowflake Mountain, and I'm not sure if this is my favorite level or my least favorite level. It's really amazingly beautiful, and a very cool level, but it's also kind of annoying. Also, this is not the Walrus Cove music, it just sounds like it. I love this part. All the street lights lighting the path. The whistling chorus in the background, it's amazing. And of course the giant supply of bananas. Although, admittedly, Frosty Village might be a bit of a stretch. There are free houses. Also, there are special secret paths off-road. We're gonna have to remember that from the Silver Coin Challenges. Every world has them. Look at that! Look at all of the bananas I've collected! And yet there's still someone right behind me? Oh, it's TT, that probably explains it. You can tell which character it is based on their color. TT is gray. And there's another off-road pathway this way. Also, it's kind of interesting doing all the levels on the different vehicles. Maybe I'll show that off at the end. And now, it's boss time. Admittedly, I probably shouldn't be tipped up for the boss, but... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to be tipped up. I'm going to break out Crunch. crunch. <laughs> so Crunch is absolutely terrible. Oh no! Not the plane race now! I challenge you to a race. Oh no. Crunch is awful in an airplane. Wait till you see his turning. have to use the RNB to get him. I mean, you, I was using the RNB and it still was not enough to get through that. Crunch is super fast, but that is all he has going for him. Of course, his terrible turning isn't bad in a hovercraft, but in an airplane or a car, it's nearly unbearable. I very well might lose this point race. Also, Taj is very fast in this last race. Like, I'm crunch and I'm barely point ahead of it. Got a beat Taj. Come on, Crunch, pull ahead. All right, I need a very wide turn. 
No, no, no! No, no, crunch, crunch! Why did, okay, he was just waiting for me to become crunch Hello, before friend. he did that. My skills are great to better luck next time. I only became crunch because the boss fight for this world was in a hovercraft, and crunch is actually extremely good in a hovercraft. It's the only thing he is good at. Yeah, wait till you see him in a car. His turning's probably even worse. So that's the normal turn. Power slide in. And then super power slide in. Actually, super power slide in isn't bad. Alright, time to face the boss. It's Wally the Walrus. Not his actual name. He's much easier than Tricky. Especially if you're in a very fast vehicle and crunches. And of course the stage is a lot shorter as well. But yeah, I've already got a fairly good lead against him. <laughs> Hitting the walls there actually like, propels you forward, which is pretty funny. And yeah. That's the race. Crunch is a really, really good in a hovercraft only. Well done! Now try my new challenge. Collect all the silver coins from the snow world. Collect eight from each level and win. Then come back and see me. Seriously, the voice talent in this just gets worse. And that's where. Oh. I've got something special for Take you. Take your finger off the accelerator just before you hit a zipper. Yep, that's the super boost I was talking about. That's where we're going to end the video off for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you next time. Uh, we will probably finish off the Snowflake Mountain, and we will not be Crunch, so we'll be able to beat Taj. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.